Hello everyone, welcome back to Prince and Nikki's channel. Thank you for joining us today. Today's video is about the pre-construction process on how we got to site on this new project for a client that we just started on in the past week. This particular client, we've decided for any of the new projects coming forward that due to confidentiality reasons, what we you might have noticed is we, we have names for them. And um, so this one is going to be called Casa Jose. I do want to note and thank everyone for continuing to watch our content. We are very much aware that we started this journey um, recording and doing our own building journey. And we have slowly transitioned into our longer term goals of our construction company. Um, we have set up a P&D Construction Limited and we have moved on with our video content. But we do want to say thank you to everyone that's continued supporting the channel. And we will continue to bring you videos on our own project. As we are a new company um, that's been set up in Ghana, we are mindful that a lot of our new clients and video content will be at the pre-construction and substructure process at, uh, in the early stages. So we will be bringing you baby videos around different steps. So just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, if you haven't already, do support the channel and subscribe to us. Give us a shout out and comment below where you're watching from and ask us any questions that you might have in terms of your own building project. So let's get into the video. So as we said, we wanted to take you through the pre-construction phases. Um, I'll hand you over to Prince who's going to explain to you the process of us getting to the site for this particular project. So our pre-construction stage starts once the client accepted our quotation. We began planning how do we actually get to site to start the works. We agree a date with the client to arrange for someone to take the team to the site. Uh, this is the opportunity for a team to actually visit the land uh, to see how access to the land is, what is the actual site conditions. Yeah, that is one of the key points and is quite an essential part of why we like to make sure we do a site visit with um, ensuring that the foreman and engineer visits the site. What we have found um, is, is really important on that site visit because sometimes when you have the drawing and you're transferring it to the land, um, there's no consideration in terms of the elevation of the ground. Um, is there any slopes? Is the land marshy? So there's lots of different um, contributing factors that you have to take into consideration. And sometimes it, it has meant that we've had to make some amendments to drawings and, and to the plans that we've had with some of the other clients that we've um, previously posted as well. Also, during this initial site visit, they will be looking at where do we get our materials from, uh, our boards, uh, who are the key merchants in the area, delivery of staffs. All those initial arrangements are sorted here. Uh, because we, we need to know where we're going to get our water from, where we're going to get our wheelbarrow, all the tools that we will need to rent, we need to uh, find the key people at this stage. So this initial service is very, very, very key uh, for us. One of the things that we do is offer all clients the opportunity, whether they want to purchase their own materials or they can provide us with the finance and we do that for them. It all depends on each client and whether they, how much they want their hands in or out of the day-to-day um, -day running. Obviously, people have lives and they're working and things. So we will also make sure that we support on that process. With the um, programme that we do, we make sure that we do weekly cost reports as well. So all clients have full transparency on the whole process. So as we said, there are a series of activities, including arranging for accommodation for the workers, where we store materials, uh, and all this research that happens in the pre-planning stages before we get onto the site. Uh, the first day on the site is all about site clearance and profiling, as you can see now uh, in a video, that is what the guys are doing here. By transferring the building from the drawings onto the land, uh, this is what the profiling is about. 
here they will be marking all the grid lines on the from the drawings onto the line before they will start the digging of the trenches so you can see now they are just begun to uh, mark where the, all the trenches uh, for the foundations will go so as we mentioned earlier this particular project is a five bedroom detached home there is a outdoor plan for a swimming pool and it is an open plan concept very similar in design to what we are building and it has balconies as well so it's, it's a great design and we're pleased to be on board with the project So guys, let us know below how you're getting on with your own projects. It's been a while since obviously we've posted any video on our own journey, but we're, we're excited to see up and coming new projects building in Ghana. It's, um, it's still a booming time, even though there's an extortionate amount of costs involved with buying materials where, you know, there's still a lot of building going on. People have got their dreams and it's exciting. If you're interested to know about the um, inflation and the cost and the importance of starting your building project, check out our previous video where we did a comparison on the inflation year on year and how much you will save by starting your journey now. It is an interesting conversation and it's something that you need to take into consideration. Yes, and also, as we said in the previous videos, if you planning to build, you don't need to have all the money before you start the process. You have to plan the building in stages over years to see how long you want this to be done. But if you wait to start your foundation work for a year, effectively, you're gonna, it's going to cost you more if you consider how material prices are rising in Ghana quickly. As Nikki said, we did a, vi a video um, a couple of weeks ago uh, where we talk about the, the cost breakdown of our first floor and we were looking at the inflation uh, on year on year when we first started our, our own project. Uh, cement alone is up over 85%. Uh, so effectively, if you take even the depreciation of the city against the dollar uh, and the euro and the pounds, Effectively, you're still looking at about, in real time, if you are somebody who is in a foreign exchange, about 20% um, increase on cost of material. So if you've got $10,000, 10,000 pounds, if you wait a year, effectively, that becomes 8,000. So you just say, if you've got a pot of money, you've got to start the process, and then you do it stage by stage. I feel the biggest one is the foundation. Yeah, what I will say is, um no one can start the project and build it straight through. We've taken a little break in the summer last year and we'll be taking another break this summer. Um, it's something that we always do anyway. But um, what I will say is that just get a cost estimate. Um, there are things that you can do to plan and prepare. We do prepare cost estimates for people and instead of doing a whole cost estimate for the whole building, which in long terms, you don't really understand what that cost is going to look like in a year, but you can do the stage. So get a cost estimate for the um, foundation digging and the concrete casting so you can prepare and plan to start that stage. And also, this, this our estimate we, we, we provide, we also provide expertise that comes with it with the years of experience between... Uh, Mike and myself, we have over 50 years working in the construction industry. Uh, Mike predominantly in Ghana and me here in the UK and, and Ghana. So there are sometimes we see drawings that we know there are things that could be done cheaper. There are sometimes we see there are some over design or sometimes there are under the size of some columns and stuff like that. We can give you all this advice to say this is how you should go about your project. I think our focus here uh, of starting this company based on the queries all we had is just to drive uh, to, 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 to deliver value for people. Uh, there is no, all the people we're working with, there is nobody that are overcharged. Uh, all the costs that we do are benchmarked to our own project. So it's, there's nothing overcharged here with what we do. One of the things is it, it started for us, I mean, what, say eight years ago, we started on another project and obviously Prince is in the construction industry. I love interiors and home. Um, so it, it kind of works for us. We have a passion for um, cost efficiency, but also an eye for 
good detail. So we, we work together as a team to make sure that we your building is going to be cost efficient, but also that it's a good high quality standard. We want people to have a high quality home. Um, so we do hope that the clients that we've been working with have seen that coming through on the building that we're producing for them now. For those of you that are interested in watching what we're doing on the ground day to day, um, obviously we're posting video content on the different stages on the projects here. But if you do want the short videos, we will be posting YouTube shorts, but we do have short videos on TikTok and Instagram as well. So if you want to check us out on Instagram, it's pnd underscore construction gh. And we also have TikTok as well. All our social media is the same name and the details are in the description for our on our channel as well. So hit us up and have a give us a like on those um platforms as well and um you'll be able to see the day to day on the ground videos. So as you can see on this particular stage now, what they've done is they've um, been working hard at it, digging the trenches. I know we get sometimes comments asking why the guys are using hand tools yeah. rather than a digger, but there is an explanation around that. Yeah, I think it's, it's the digger will be, it will be quicker. Uh, it's, it's slightly more expensive. I think it's, it's the opposite way round if you compare what happened in the developed world in Ghana because, for example, in the UK, hand dig foundations are more expensive uh, than if you use machine dig but in, in Ghana it's the opposite way but also um, we even offered on our own project didn't we we wanted to get the digger but they actually don't want to they prefer to do by hand and, and also if you use the machine you um, you machine you use more concrete for the footing and also you will need the guys to go in there uh, to go and straighten the, uh, the, 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 the trench out. So it's a slightly more expensive and the guys uh, don't mind doing it uh, at all. Yeah, we, we, we bring in new ideas and new technologies and yeah. I think um, on the journey, Mike's enjoyed doing that as well. He's learnt a lot with us and we've shared ideas, but with anything, people also like to do their own way. Yeah, and as you can see now, when the foundation is all uh, uh, dark, it, it took us about a week to finish this foundation for this five bedroom house. Uh, that was uh, another engineer we have brought on board, Ricky, uh, who went to inspect the foundation to make sure uh, the levels, the, the, the depth of the foundation, everything is, is according to the drawing uh, before we start casting the, the footing. It's very, very important that you get someone else to go, especially an engineer, to go and check the depth of the foundation, to check all the trenches, to check the alignment, that everything is according to the drawing before they start uh, pouring the foundation footing uh, concrete. You don't want walls that are wonky or not straight, or the wall that doesn't sit on the center line of your foundation block. It's very, very important to ensure that your foundation block where sits on the center line of that footing. Uh, he nearly fell down there. <laughs> Bless him. Um, what we will say is obviously we are mindful that um, a lot of people that are building are building from abroad and there are differences. There are standard differences. People want to see different things. There is an element of feeling safe and secure when you're going with a company. There is an element of feeling safe and secure when you have an independent person come to sign off pieces of work. So we're offering all these independent people to come to site, not because we doubt any work that's been done by our foreman is excellent. He's got over 30 years experience, but it's just to give um, our clients the um, reassurance that everything's good to go. And they have sign off as well, because, you know, it's a it's an investment for your own project. So we want you to be satisfied. And also we as a company, uh, we want that sign off process to make sure everything is done according to the right, the code, uh, as we always mention these codes to make sure everything is uh, to the standard required uh, by the local uh, building regulations. So it's an important process for us. You definitely need to look up the back Ghana building code, guys. It's really important that you make sure that anyone that's building for you is following that building code. So it's been great to bring this new project to you. We hope you've enjoyed the um, explanation of the pre-construction process. Um, as I say, we do offer 
a number of services prior to even getting onto site. We do estimates for people. We also do um, design consultation and we're happy to help and advise anyone that wants to reach out to us. So do hit us up if you've got any questions or queries. Do comment below and let us know how you're finding the content, what questions you might have. And um, we will endeavour to bring you more quality videos and educational material on the building process. As we always say, it's important that you have a good quality home. So don't be frightened to ask questions and make sure that you get videos on your projects daily to ensure that you can monitor the project. Thank you for watching everyone. Thank you. Bye.